Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow, and check it out. It's the third of December, and there's and there's three pending gifts. I this linear progression is pretty funny, but I doubt it is going to happen, and I doubt it is uh, on purpose. <laughs> More importantly, because these are not core. It's just funny that uh, each day it's one more anyway so yeah here on we got games go look at it we got three we got three games from steam do you know what steam is it's a, it's a cloud but like it's, it has water in it like a cloud now <laughs> cow surprisingly despite the name this game is actually a thing says cutbird winsleydale nine uh, no thing the year is 994 and it is a future no thing is a minimalist Surreal action game set a tutorial regime of future great English tells the story of an office clerk who was sent with an important message to the Ice Queen. I mean, that is a description. I mean, it is hitting a few key points here that would absolutely interest me. Alice Cutbert, let me get like I don't look these up ahead of time, they're the games that are in impending. So uh let's go load up a trailer. Luckily, like, it's always easy to tell I'm at the right place because Steam has, like, the box art for the box that doesn't exist, then they'll use that for the trailer also. See, you got no thing. See, it looks completely different, but uh, I know that is. So we'll look at the PlayStation trailer. It's pretty wild. This is the life we live. Oh my gosh, it's an evil game! Finally! Storm Trident! Uh-huh. I existed at that year. I was thriving. I was not. It's the future. Far away future of 1994. Oh jeez, that's what the game looks like? Oh, wow. Okay. Like with a screen filter and everything, because that is aggressive, my friend. Uh, I'm sad. Uh, I do not acknowledge that. So this is like glitch core Sam Super Sammy Roll. Maybe like less frustrating in first person, which is pretty in important. I mean, the vibe is fantastic. Uh huh. Yeah. An office clerk ascent. Yeah, that will happen. Oh, with an important message. As the thing I just read, there's all these Andros people to the Queen of Ice. That involves navigating these pathways. I take it. Pretty interesting. With head broken, that makes it harder. <laughs> it says no thing at the top of the screen. You can't see because my I am constantly just like badly set up for actually recording video, even though I know that's what I'm going to be doing today. You'd think I'd learn at some point. No, learning is for fools. I will accept, I mean, vibe wise, this game, no thing. I don't think I've ever heard about it. Like, I don't think, yeah, like, I've ever heard about this No Thing experience, but it looks fantastic. It looks, like, super great. Can someone on Spot Zone please make sure to um, maintain a list of the games I'm receiving during this advent, during these ambushes? Because I know I'm going to forget about adding some to the bucket, and no list is absolutely getting there. I mean, everything I've seen up to now, other than perhaps Toilet Sim, sorry, Yuppels, is heading there. <laughs> if they're not there already. Cowman, happy ambush, have a game about depression! Parentheses, it's very good. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Grey Nine. That is Memedy. Sindel Song. Memedy. Mimic memorized musical melodies to give light, light, spite of darkness in your mind. Hmm. Memedy. Uh, oh, that is. Those are screenshots. <laughs> well, we got uh, the trailer right here, so here we go. Alora Fame. From darkness comes light. It's pretty, are we creating the universe? Oh, we just saw that in the thumbnail. Form bonds through song. Okay, so it is like a, a music game. I do not understand that UX, UI. That is, I mean, I'm sure the game will explain that. Yeah, stab that knight. 
That is pretty funny, I agree. I will say, there is a vibe building up here. Okay, yeah, the more I listen to it... Like, a, a music game sort of lives and die by its music, right? And this feels... interesting. I mean, that in a good way? No, Eternal Life is just kind of poison no matter what, honestly. Depending what Eternal Life means. Like, have fun the ring of the Iron Stars era of the universe. People don't think about those things. But this, uh, there's certainly a vibe. This is certainly a vibey game. I've played... I mean, like, uh... Is it, like, like, it feels right now like a not as funny, but also doing its own thing of Bard's Quest. Like, Bard's Quest was a music-based game, but it was also, like, very funny. This seems to be more inquisitive. A more inquisitive version, with completely different gameplay, too. Like, I don't know what the day-to-day -day gameplay actually looks like, but, uh, I mean, it looks pretty neat. Honestly, like, 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 like there is a vibe to it that I... Like, I started watching, and I was like, okay. But by the end, the trailer ended. I was like, okay. okay. Like, 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 you know, like, I get it, too. I get it. You, you hear the slight change of tone? It is very important in communication. All right, Grey9. No, yeah. Um, game about depression. Yeah, see, now that makes a bit of sense. You know, now we got the context. It all sort of, it's, it's all sort of goes together. Man, if that's depression, depression's pretty beautiful. This one I saw coming. Because Flubman talked to me about this game a lot before release and got released like yesterday. So this makes sense. So I got sorry for spamming you with gifts last year. I hope you'll enjoy this one. Enjoy. Yeah, Tevi, all caps. From the makers of uh Rabbi Ribbon. Rabbi Ribby. Rabbi Ribby Rabbidoo. Rutabaga, all of those together. Embark on an epic action adventure as you slash, dash, and combo your way through a vast, vibrant world. Explore and cover hidden secrets, customize your build to triumph in spectacular boss battles, experience a tale of mystery, magic, and mayhem. Yeah, you know, the three M's. Uh, a bullet hell Metroidvania. So it is Rabby Ribby, but check it out. This time it's Tevi. Okay. I'm gonna try to put it in all caps. Um, I always go for the most frequent I can see. Frequent? Closest. This is three, uh, that's not, that's a review. That's not a trailer. There we go, trailer. Oh, check it out. Oh yeah, no, wow, okay. Same map. Uh, sim, ooh. <laughs> okay, that guillotined hallway. Like, uh, I knew about it, I knew this game looked neat, but I don't think I really looked at it much because, you know, like, when a game interests me with a certain amount of irony, like, I try to see as less as possible, right? So we got all these, these ladies. And Zemma. I'm sure the bear is a lady. So it's all good. Got Pokeballs, got it. You got looking serious. You go, look at that. It's a plant from uh, Castlevania. No, yeah, the projectiles and whatnot are. Oh, don't hit that cat thing. This is extremely Rabby Ribby, too, but like. Shiny? Not the other game wasn't shiny. Oh, this is a pretty cool little setup here. Yeah, the trailer's putting a lot of emphasis on these boss fights. And I mean, let's be real, the boss fights were the highlight of the Rabbit game. Not that one, that one. So this makes sense to me. You're sitting on an egg! You did it! Egg sitter. It's like hatching. I feel like characters are a little bit less naked, which, honestly, that's okay. <laughs> that's probably good. Look at that weird, like, 
Oh yeah, no. Like, everything I'm seeing looks just absolutely fantastic. Oh boy, oh you got like a little like float move. Uh, Alright, Spectre Knight. There we go, showing up. Oh, that was, that's not yesterday, that's a few days ago actually. I'm good with numbers. There's a full-on combat trailer that was linked there, but, like, I don't want that. Like, I don't want the game to tell me all about, you know, the extent detail of the fighting. I am content with this screenshot here. This thumbnail, which is, check out all this green. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Um, this game looks super rad. Like, it really does. Um... To me, yeah, like, that's an instant include- I think it's already on my bucket? I'm not sure. Normally, I only add them when the game is released, so it's probably not there, yeah. And that's why I need someone to put down a list, alright? Make me a list! Uh, just so that once the advent is done, I can go over it and add what needs to be added, which is going to be probably most things. Not- not Toilet Simulator. Everything else, though, well, I mean, I, I shouldn't say ahead of time, I don't know, man. But, no, yeah, for real, though, I love how extremely different these three games that were sent my way today are. But, they all go for what they're going, right? And that's something you can see, that's something I feel like you can feel, even from, like, a trailer or something. And I get it, and I love that, and I find that very exciting. I don't know why it says a hat in time 8 there. That's just there. I don't know what it means.